the Lord is with you. Blessed are the heavens given, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. For forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the offertory, and some of our friends are beginning the offertory. During this time of presentation of gifts, we shall now have each ministry bring to the altar items pertaining to that particular ministry. The family ministry presenting a plant bearing the names of various families. Lord, you've commanded us to love one another just as you have loved us. We offer our families and offer you all the joys and struggles we face in our family. We pray that like a tree that is planted by running waters, whose leaves never wither and bear fruits in all seasons, our families may be deeply rooted in you, Lord, the source of living waters, so that we too may bear fruits for your kingdom. Young Couples Ministry presenting their wedding bands. We offer to the Father the commitment that each couple has taken to faithfully and in all seasons to love one another as Christ loved his bride, the Church. Empower them by the power of your Holy Spirit to bear witness to the love of Christ by living like the Holy Family of Nazareth. The Youth Ministry presenting picture of a plant with the names of all the youth attending the conference. Lord, you ask us to abide in you just as you abide in us. Help the youth especially to be rooted in you, in your word and in your love, and thereby find their identity in you, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Teens Ministry presenting a canvas with the names of all the teens attending our conference this weekend. We offer to the Lord the lives of these young tender hearts, that the Lord may always keep the fire of His love burning in their souls. The Music Ministry presenting the ukulele, a symbol of melodious music, offered in praise and adoration to the Lord. We offer to God our music ministry in a special way that they may continue to stir the Holy Spirit in us by their anointed music. The intercessory ministry brings before the altar candles symbolizing the constant prayers and supplications offered for the various needs of the movement, the church and the world. The mission team offering the map of Europe. The Lord has commissioned us to go and make disciples of all nations. We offer to the Lord all our past, present and future mission projects. We pray that the Lord may use us as his instruments to sow the seeds of his kingdom and with eyes of faith see him give the growth. The Nurses Ministry presenting to the altar a stethoscope. Representing the Nurses Ministry, we pray the Lord continue to, to work through their hands as an extension of His own hands of healing as they minister to the sick and the dying. The Formation Team presenting their motto which reads, My children, I still suffer the pangs of childbirth until Christ is formed in you. Galatians 4 verses 19. We offer all our formation programs that they may mold us to be more Christ-like as we apply the truth of God's living word to our lives. And finally, we offer ourselves all that we are, all that we have and all that we do, along with the bread and wine, which will soon be transformed into the very body and blood of 
Jesus Christ our Lord. of a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all. Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hello, Lord, be with you. And Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it new. And so, it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all the praise you.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop, and for the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. by divine teaching we join our hands together just as a big family and we pray the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles peace, I leave you. I give you all our sins, the faith of who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. That you should enter and glory. But only say the word and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ be for safe for eternal life. As we are coming down from communion, uh, please leave from your right side, come down for communion and go back from your left side. The volunteers will be there to usher you, so you leave from your right side and go back from your left. And from upstairs you come down again from your right. Upstairs uh, communion will be there.
if I do not all come into our lives, I pray that He will remain with us. He will stay with us. This time for the final prayer of the Mass. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, whenever the Mass is ending, it ends with a commissioning of the disciples go and announce the mass is entered so as a disciple of Jesus Christ the church or Jesus Christ is interesting us to go and speak for the church and about Jesus Christ and Jesus youth of course I know it stands for Jesus Christ praise the Lord, praise the Lord. we have Dr. Manuel Sunny with us I remember a moment with him years back with Bishop Jacob Marathoda, I was at Emmaus with him and uh, some of our seminarians from Palgar Diocese, they were actually doing a gap year with Jesus Youth and he was just there to give a kind of appreciation or something for the seminarians or for the group, Jesus Youth and he said, I would suggest the members of the Synod to send all the seminarians to be a Jesus Youth for just for or take a gap year in their priestly formation life. That was what this Jacob Marathon said. We thank God for giving all his blessing and we also thank for all these days we are supposed to spend here and we pray that. We all pray together that God will shower his mercy and you become a true disciple to speak and stand for the church and for Jesus Christ. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.
celebration of the Eucharist and as well as the altar service in the music ministry. So let's all say Hail hey Mary for them. Hail hey Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless the Lord of the Lord. Bless the Lord of the Lord.
so. Actually, in fact, actually, so. I'm still struggling to catch my breath here, actually. So, we have celebrated mass. We have had the action songs. We've had some uh, welcome. So, now we have the official inauguration of the conference. So, uh, for the next 30 minutes or so, we're going to hear from our priests. We're going to hear from our main resources. And uh, we'll end with some instructions about the next three, four days. I know some of you might be very tired, but just be patient. Another 30 minutes or so, and then we'll be winding up uh, for the evening. And then you can go back and settle yourselves into your accommodation and things. So, children, I know you're all uh, a bit tired, so try and be a bit quiet. Uh, try and be a bit patient, a bit more, uh, for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, so, is everybody ready? Yeah, so... Um, so, uh, we will be seeing a video of... Hello? Hi! Hi! So, we will be seeing a video of, uh, of a welcome message by, by our dear ecclesiastical advisor, by Bishop Joseph, by Bishop Joseph Tatu. My dear Jesus Youth Friends in UK, after Covid adversities, you are coming again for National Conference in UK from 26 to 29. You have taken the team exchanging boundaries based on the book of Isaiah. I am very happy to know that you are trying your best to be a missionary church at the service of of God. And this gathering shall be a revitalizing our talents and to make us instruments in the hands of God to exchange our kingdom. The exchanges are very much scattered and the other families are also very much disappointed. And our presence and our encouragement of Sacred Heart of Fathers and Brothers of Brethren uh, and uh, he's a regional vicar for England for the SCG congregation. Uh, Father Wilfred is a parish priest of Corpus Christi, Clifton and Our Lady of St. Patrick's Meadows, Nottingham. Uh, he's been serving as a priest for the last 11 years and 20 years in religious life. Since 2012 onwards he is actively involved in the Jesus Youth Movement and I uh, would like to welcome you warmly Father Wilfred please. Welcome Father Justin. Father Justin was part of the first youth team as an assistant coordinator. He is ministering in India as a priest in Karis Bhavan. 
He belongs to the MSFS congregation. So please welcome Father Justin on the stage. Next, I'd like to invite Father Carroll. Uh, Father Carroll is from the uh, congregation of the missionaries of Our Lady of La Salette. I think I've said that right, Father. Thank you. Uh, uh, Father Carroll serves as the parish assistant in St. Peter and All Souls Parish in Peterborough. Dear brothers and sisters, let's warmly welcome Father Carroll. Next, I would like to invite Sister Ansela. I don't think Sister needs any introduction. She is considered the mother of JY in UK, and she's been journeying with the movement from day one in UK. So let's all welcome Sister Ansela. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Manoj Sunny onto the stage. He is the founder and international director of Formation of Jesus Youth. And as a journalist, he is actively involved in youth ministry for the last 30 years, traveling to nearly 50 countries, conducting over 900 training programs for youth leaders. So let's all give a round of applause for our dear Dr. Manoj Next, let's welcome Ron Sunny. Ron Sunny is a Catholic speaker, a worship leader, and a songwriter. He's a lead vocalist and coordinator of the band Vox Christi, that is a Jesus Youth Band. Uh, and in, in a parallel life, he's also a faculty of biology at the St. Joseph's College, Calicut, India, and he has a PhD in ecology. Brothers and sisters, let's welcome Ron Sunny. Tony and Sean, they've been married for, for the past nine years and they're blessed with five beautiful children. Sean and Pony have been an active part of Jesus Youth Movement for most part of their adult life. Together they have a charism for journeying with young adults and young families. Recently they have trained up as a Catholic life coaches and are equipping young women and men and couples to be best versions of themselves. So inviting Pony and Sean onto the stage. They're all busy behind the scenes, so we invite all of them. Uh, last but not least, I'd like to invite a very important person who is the, uh, who's been the cornerstone behind everything that we've been uh, preparing up to now, who is none other than our lovely, beloved Biju Thomas, who is the coordinator, general coordinator of the conference. Please be seated and uh, We'd like to uh, hear a few words from all of you. So first of all, I'd like to invite uh, Pradeep to say a few words for us. Please be seated. Now? 
I can gather from your expression, all of us are excited to be here. After a very long time, we were here, like we were preparing for this conference for a very long time. And after many years, we are coming together in such a large number. And when we are here, we need to remember there are many other hundreds of people who couldn't be here because of the, we couldn't accommodate them. And us, our theme of the conference called us to expand our boundaries, extend our tents. Let us all in everything we do, we need to ex uh, we need to widen our horizons, look up with the hope, respond to the call as the Lord call us to ex we need to take extra steps to stretch ourselves and invite the Holy Spirit, allow the, as the uh, Father was saying to the homely, allow the Holy Spirit to walk through each one of us. We should not limit ourselves. As the Holy Father always says, in like a church which is going out, and get wounded rather than staying in our own comfort, comforts and get sick. And we let us take a bold step to get wounded, to go out to our own schools, colleges, parishes, wherever we are, to become a witness. I think this conference is going to Call us and challenge us, each one of us, to take extra steps, ex to go an extra mile, so that the Lord may be glorified through each one of our lives, through our ministries. Amen. Can hear me? Yes. Well, if you yes. praise the Lord, Lord. you famished. Yes. I can't yes. hear a single word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's so faint. You sound like people been you know without food for a few days. I know you're tired. I know you've been traveling for a long time. But still, let's give it to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Come on, a little more energy, a little more vigor, a little more spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise Just raise your right hand and say, Praise the Lord. Praise so, from the bottom of your heart, with all voice you got, Praise the Lord. Praise That's much better. That's much better. So, I've been like this, like you people here, like long time back. I grew up in Northampton. I had done my A levels. And after that, that time I was running around with Jesus' youth. And I'm proud to be standing here today because like you guys, I've been here like in and around all, all those eight times. There was a conference in 2007, Love Beyond Borders. I, I so badly wanted to come but I put it. Then again, I thought all through my life's journey, it's Jesus you that gave my backbone the best support to stand, to live, to move as a seminarian, to become a priest, and to be the person that I am. And you know, the way that I've been brought up, that people I've been grew up with, all the Jesus people like Pradeep Yadni is there, Josvati Yadni is there, from Fraji Yadni is there. All these people were there, and all of them were kind of instrumental in giving me a direction, giving me a ray of hope. And when I see you people, I can see the future of the Catholic Church. Because, like, you know, you are the stars that are going to all shine for the church, you are the backbone of the church, and when you gather here today, it's so nice, it's so pleasant, it's so energizing, because the vigor of the church rests in you people. Because when you go out into the world after this conference, when you go out into the world, when people look at you, and they say, wow, I think that person is a Jesus you. When the, when the world looks at you and say, I think that person knows Christ. 
That's when the church is going to be heard, the church is going to be lived in the world. As you are here for the conference, as you are all gathered here today, tomorrow you're going to be dispersed into different streams. Today, as you are all are here today, I just want to tell you one thing. I just really want to tell you one thing. It's who you want to be when you're sitting here. You can just spend your time during this conference, just, you know, just walk around, just have fun around. You can be lazy in your sessions, in workshops. And if you want to meet Christ, if you want to enjoy Jesus, if you want to walk with Jesus. Hey guys who are on top, those who are on the balcony, can you hear me? All those who are on the balcony, can you hear me? Can you give me a big yes? yes. All of those on the balcony, with your voice, can you say big yes? yes. All of those on the balcony, give me a praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. When you look at the world from the balcony like that, you're going to see that lots of fault in the world. But then the next moment, when the world looks at you from down, when you stand in the balcony, they should see a person whom they can, you know, they can see as an example to love Christ. No, really, when she said, Father Jason, please go and say a few words. Actually, I didn't know what to say. This was a surprise, you know. Just give me a bang in the head and say, go on, get on the stage and do something. You know, okay, fine, all right. This is my task. But whatever may be, this is the moment. If you have come here, it's not because... Thank you. You're truly inspiring words. You are, you are truly an inspiration for the many youth and the teenagers uh, that are sat here. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much for taking the time and, and, uh, and being with us today. Um, next, I'd like to uh, invite Father Carol. Uh, everybody's looking surprised. As Father Justin said, there is no, um, there's no preamble or preparation for it. So. Yes, please, Father. Father Carol. When it was said that uh, there are a variety of reasons to come here, I was just a driver. <laughs> but I consider it a very serious, actually, reason to come. Even by the by the being a driver is for me just sufficient because I know that the presence of Jesus Christ is everywhere. I want to meet Him. It doesn't really matter who I meet, what people, what priests, what uh, congregations, what place actually. I know this earth is created by God, and I know that I will profit it. I'm quite dumb, and I'm really hard to hear anything. But I believe that if I manage, manage for the last 30 years to be a priest, so I can manage the next year to come. So please, let's stay together with Jesus Christ. Let's pray together with Jesus Christ. And let's count on Him. Because He is giving the graces of those for those who want it. If you want it, you will receive it. Maybe not hearing it or feeling it. But I'm sure the grace will be upon us. I am really upon this. I really believe that. And I'm just looking forward because I'm staying with you up to Monday. People were asking me, are you going to stay? I am the driver, say I said. But I am going to stay up to Monday. What is going to happen? I have no idea. But I know that Jesus Christ will be with me because I want to be with him. All right? Thanks to God. Thank you so much, Father Carol, for the beautiful message. Next. Okay. It's with a cake, right? Um, so, Sansa, we would like you to share a few words. Chosen. So I just want you to remember. 
of my heart. With Jesus, we have got a blessed sacrament in the chapel, uh, 24 hours. So, just and now uh, through the heart of our blessed mother uh, to be with Jesus. And I know that I very much. Don't you? Yes! Yes. So, I uh, really would thank you for you are here. I don't want you just to be lost, just to mingle with each other. And if you have any doubt... Sister or sister doesn't need any special introduction or anything. Sister's been journeying with us since day... With the, the, the Jesus Youth Movement here. I'm so excited. So I'm from the United States, from Denver, Colorado, near the mountains. And uh, I, I flew in, I've been in Europe, but I flew into London today. We had a fun four-hour drive through here. Great conversation. With, uh, I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you and hope we can continue many fun conversations here. Uh, it was a mention in my bio, I should say, as well, uh, that uh, so I'm married. I have a wonderful wife named Beth, uh, and we are blessed with eight children. Uh, that's more important than any book I write or any talk I give, and uh, so it ages from 21 down to a six-year-old. We have our first, our eldest, we're gonna have the first marriage in this Good three family. My eldest daughter is getting married in December. Okay. So we're very But in terms of a word to leave with all of you, does anyone love Mary? Anyone love Mary here, the Blessed Virgin Mary? Okay, we love Mary as Catholics, right? Uh, there's a line from Luke's Gospel I wanna share with you at the beginning of this conference, and I often re recommend this at the beginning of a conference or a retreat, or a 219 tells us that Mary kept all these things and pondered. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, but, but you're gonna have a lot of fellowship together, and I can tell it's just the, the joy that you have to be together. That's gonna be a blessing for you. Uh, you're gonna hear a lot of presentations. You'll hear some talks. There'll be hikes and, and all of that. But the most important thing that God wants to do is not gonna be through any talk. It's gonna be you taking time to allow God to speak in your heart, to keep the, these things and ponder them in your heart. So whether that's encourage you each day to have some time where you can walk outside just alone and just talk to the Lord about what you're hearing. Following Him, what, what is He inviting you to? To take time, like Sister said, to go to the chapel where the Blessed Sacrament is there. Uh, if you just come and you listen to a bunch of talks and have a lot of fun, and the, the conference won't, won't bear as much fruit. I believe Jesus wants to write this conference on your heart. Quietly to, to step away. Uh, and I know that may be hard for some parents, but I want to really encourage the dads, the dads here. Offer to watch your kids. So your wife can get some time in the chapel. Wives, uh, uh, or husbands, get up early in the morning so that you get that time for yourself before your kids get up. But that will be the most important thing that God will do, I think, is, is keeping these things and pondering in their hearts like Mary. Thank you so much, Etsy. Um, and we really look forward to hearing you over the weekend. And as Etsy said, told, let's take time to take those things that we hear over the weekend and ponder in our hearts. To invite Father Bridget for a few words. You know, you know already the three days, the six three days of Jesus' youth. And uh, Father Wilfred was speaking on fellowship. And uh, the first one is, I think, prayers for prayer. The second word of God. I notice that we are all narrow-minded. Everyone of us at home, we worked at home, worked from home, and we prayed at home, and we did not go out. And I think it is we have got three days to deepen ourselves in faith, to strengthen our faith. 
community, we get sacraments also to go out and to proclaim the good news. Once again, thank you for the best. Thank you for the wisdom. Three days to deepen our faith, strengthen our prayers. Thank you, Father. Uh, now I would like to invite um, Dr. Manoj Sami. Uh, again, we'll be hearing from him over the next three three days. Uh, but just a few words as an inaugural address. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Oh, that's good enthusiasm. That's great. I thought everyone would be so tired by this point and way too cool. Yeah. Okay. So I want to make this super long. After all. Words from from our resources. I'm not really sure what more to add, but um, I feel like maybe we can just look at the the theme for the conference a little bit. And again, together we can just uh, yeah enter enter into this conference. So we'll just sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So what's the theme of the conference? Oh, so okay. So I mean, hearing is this word exo. Uh, if we we have all we are all very familiar with that. So if I can invite um, us all together to just look at the at Isaiah 54. It's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, God has made for us for this con glad cry, you bow, who never bore a child. For more numerous are the children of the deserted wife than the children of her who have do not fear, you shall not be put to shame. Do not be discouraged. You shall not be disgraced. How beautiful is that? Um, so this is the, the prophecy of Isaiah to the people of Israel who are coming out of Babylonian captivity. And I find it so beautiful that um, God is saying, who is a barren one, he says, who doesn't have any children. He's saying, make space in your tents because it's going to be filled. Because the space is not going to be enough. There's going to be... And that is such a beautiful promise of restoration. And that is, is to claim back things. He is here to claim back this land. He is here to claim back his people. He is here to claim this time and to claim you. And whether it's the tenth time, the hundredth time, it doesn't matter because he is going to do that in a new way. He is going to come in and he's going to stir up the waters. He's a dynamic God, an active God, and he wants to things, do things new in your life, in my life, and here at this conference, um, you know this, this uh, word we've been hearing, you know, enlarging our tents. And this tent that is our heart, uh, you know, as, as our speakers have mentioned already, this is a time for us to invite him in. And it doesn't matter what that tent looks like, whether it's our life, our heart, however that looks at, like right now, he wants to come in and he wants us to meet us there. And whether it is, you know, it says enlarging your tents, and I, I don't really have a lot of experience with putting up tents except for one time. But to, to have to, to be able to enlarge it, it needs to be able to, to stretch. And you need these uh, cords, as it says, to lengthen it, to make it firm to the ground. And when we look at our lives, I don't really know where, you know, each one of us are with, with how our lives look, how our tents look, if I could, you know, go on with, with that image again. Uh, we are out there to evangelize people rigid, it's a bit stiff, um, it cannot be extended a lot more and there are situations in our life that um, we are maybe not where we want to be, that is fine too, because he meets us right there. And I want to invite you now, even as I was preparing uh, just for, for this time, uh, just thinking, you know, what, what can we bring Lord? And it doesn't matter, you know, we can just bring what we have, the five loaves and the two fishes that we have, we can bring it right here. And Jesus is going to do something with that. Like, like you said, he, he is a God who's active, who's out there, who's dynamic. And um, yeah, he, he stirs up waters. There, there is a song that we were singing earlier on that says, he's stirring up deep, deep waters. Um, and maybe I want to leave with, because um, I'm not, not taking a lot of time, just that you know, um, verse 4 there that, that I read at the end, it says, uh, do not fear, you shall not be put to shame. Do not be discouraged, you shall not be disgraced. 
So don't be, don't be afraid to open our heart because he is not going to let us down in that. Um, there is, uh, again, you know, to this, to this prophecy about um, Israel and uh, being barren and children coming back. And, um, and there is, a, there is a, a few verses in, in Isaiah 49 where um, it says, um, You shall say to yourself, The children of whom you were bereft shall yet say in your hearing, This place is too narrow for me. Make room for me to live in. And you shall ask yourself, Who has borne me these? When I was bereft and barren, exiled and repudiated, who has reared them? I was left all alone. Where do these come from? So again, it's Israel in the wonder that how did this happen? That I who do not have any children, how is it that I am filled, filled with children in abundance now? So that's what God does. From wilderness, he makes a way. And from the barrenness, he's able to, to come up with abundance. So again, the invitation is um, as, as you know, you're invited before as well to let Jesus in to that place once again. And he wants to meet you in a new way. And he wants to meet you right now. Not how things were in the past, not how it will, might be in the future, but right now. And you won't be ashamed. So we ask again the intercession of our Blessed Mother who had a heart, um, her hands and womb wide open um, as a dwelling place for our Lord. Father amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Um, actually, I've been reflecting on the, the, the Bible verse for the, for the conference theme. And um, uh, throughout the intercession, throughout the novelas and everything, I think, I think just me as uh, what struck me through your keynote lecture is that keynote um, speech is that you know our, our Lord is dynamic, our Lord is active, and our Lord is going to stir the waters. He's going to challenge us. He's chosen us. He's called each and every one of us by name to be here. So there is a purpose for us to be here. There is a reason that we are here. And it's, and it's time that we take it seriously. So let's hope over the next three days, he's going to challenge us, he's going to make us think, and, and make us think about ways we can extend our tents, and we can come out of our comfort zone. That's what the conference is all about. I know you've had a long evening, um, so we come to the end of the inaugural ceremony. Uh, I'm going to invite Biju, our uh, general coordinator for the conference, to give us some uh, key instructions. Please start from Biju. Thank you, thank you. Uh, before I go on to the general instruction, let's give another round of applause for everyone. Thank you. And maybe you can go back to your seats while I give a general instruction. And it's just a bit embarrassing, you know, just sitting there, you know, uh, throughout the ceremony. Before I start, before I, I'm just going to give you quick instructions. I know you're hungry, I'm hungry, I didn't even have my proper lunch. Maybe, maybe a toast or something. So we are going to have fish and chips, okay? You can smell it already, I know. So before I continue, before I go on to the general instructions, all I want to say is there are a couple of corrections that Manoj wanted me to do. Uh, it's my fault. When we introduced him, we said he's a doctor, Manoj. He's not a doctor. And also, uh, I think in the, it mentioned that he's the founder of Jesus here. He's not the founder, the Jesus doesn't have a founder. He is the first national and the first international coordinator. So, sorry Manoj for putting that, it's my fault. It's what happens when you do copy paste, okay? <laughs> I copied it from another website and then pasted it because I didn't have time, okay? Uh, before I go on to the general instructions, I don't know how many of you remember, we had a competition way back in a few months ago. We had a competition asking for captions. We had a t-shirt competition asking for captions. Did any of you submit any captions? You did, okay. So I'll make it quick. So these are the captions we had, uh, you know, and we didn't announce the winner. We're going to announce the winner and we're going to give the prize out as well. So these were the captions we received. Which one do you think won? Which caption do you think won? I have the t-shirt here. I have the t-shirt that we printed with you. They need to know you are a Jesus you. You are someone with salt. Yeah?
Um, make sure you don't go to the lower arm screen for a uh, youth and family. So if you have the family screen or the youth screen, you can choose two workshops and attend those workshops. We have a nursery. Okay, so anyone over the age of five, we have a nursery. It's a man in nursery. Uh, so you can drop your kids there. Family can drop their kids there and attend the program. Okay, so they, it's man. Uh, whenever there's a family screen, there will be the nursery open. Smaller, anything that you need, it's on the booklet. Okay, if you're on the NHS waiting list for the last six months with a headache, this is not the time. Okay, <laughs> this is only for any incidents happening from now onwards till Monday. That's it. Okay. I know, okay, so don't go to me. I, I haven't put a picture on her name, okay, so you don't know who that is. The adoration right from 6 a.m. in the morning till 11, we have to go there, sit there with the, you know, when you're not having sessions, when you have a break, finish your lunch early or dinner early, and then go and sit in front of the Eucharistic adoration. Uh, one of the important things, we are on YouTube Live, uh, we had some glitch this evening, so we are still working on the Lijo and Shishant. Uh, you know, are working on it. So if you are on Jesus Youth or your friends want to uh, see what's happening here, the sessions, the adoration, everything will be live streamed on YouTube. That's our YouTube. We will also have books. You know, Ed Shree, who's our main speaker for the conference, he's written a, a lot of beautiful books. Okay, so all these are some of the books that Ed Shree has written. And we will have these books on sale. A collection of the, a selection of these books. Don't make any sound after 11 o'clock. That's the house rules. Till 11, you can scream. After that, you're not allowed to. Even though actually said, you know, when you're free, go and hear the voice of God, that's good. But I would say, don't wander around too much, okay? Attend your sessions, do sit with the Lord for some time, but don't let like, give the premise. Uh, so you can, uh, don't ask your parents, mommy, can I speak with my friend, or you see, you know, 10 blocks down, okay? Don't do that, it won't be allowed. We have volunteers all around with high use jackets, badges, so speak to them if you need anything. So above all, you know, everyone said, you know, the, the theme of our conference is Isaiah 543. So during these days, I'm going to finish off, during these days, do something different. You know, extend your boundaries. You know, when you are going to have next time, husband and wife, you can go and buy these books. Of course, use the card reader if you don't have money. Just take these small steps to extend your boundaries and be the change. Okay, don't wait to be the, you know, someone impose it on you, be the change. The ball, God bless. Thank you.